There is nothing like a new adventure, and we, as teachers, are like the travel agents of the education world. Each day we plan new adventures, thinking about the details, activities, and ways to find excitement along the road. When there are the inevitable delays or detours, we jump into action, finding ways to solve problems for our favorite customers, our students. As our students work, they discover their own unique connections to the topic. But when the adventure comes to a close and it's time for assessment, suddenly there's a shift. We ask students to show their knowledge by filling out a worksheet or taking a test that may or may not address what they took away from the experience. We ask them to check boxes and fill in bubbles that reflect memorization rather than memories. This is where technology can change how we work with students today. It wasn't until just a couple years ago that I realized the power of using technology in this way and at a conference a presenter gave us, as teachers, permission to quit trying to be perfect. The idea seemed crazy at first, but after returning to my classroom and diving into creating a video for students, I noticed that when I let go of perfection, I could make videos for instruction without spending hours editing. In just 10 minutes, I could create videos of demonstrations that could be used for classes year after year. Posting these resources online made them accessible to students in the future. In fact, just last week, a student told me that when she got stuck on drawing perspective in middle school, she remembered my resources and went right to iTunes U to find them. This led me to question, what if we ask students where they wanted to go during this adventure called school? What if we provided guidance and resources and let them choose their own adventure? What if we asked students to use their own voice? The joy of technology is that it can open doors at every part of the learning journey. You can take your students on digital field trips, show them hands-on examples, and let their voices be heard through video, writing, music, art, or something totally unique. I'm Bethany Nugent, an art teacher from La Crosse, Wisconsin, and today I'll share how my students work with technology to use their voice and share their story. Stop motion and green screen are two of my favorite tools for creative assessment. They let students use their imagination to go wherever they'd like. In this example, students studied historical figures and pulled them together into a game of Jeopardy, even using their historical figures to provide videos for the correct answers. Here are the correct answer. Hi, I'm Sally Rodney. I was the first one with going to space on the Challenger Space Shuttle. When I decided to become an astronaut, my job career lasted a whole entire week. And I'm Neil Armstrong. I earned my pilot's license when I was 15. Before I was an astronaut, I was a test pilot and I was the first person to set foot on the moon. In this example, a student's poem comes to life with stop motion. All the flowers burst into bloom. With sketch notes, students creatively record their thoughts with pictures. Note taking in this way can have a profound impact on retention. Using iPads in creative classrooms like art and music also helps students to discover the ability to create with these devices. No matter where you are on your teaching adventure, remember that taking risks and trying new things is the only way to continue to innovate. Your students will remember the memories they make because you are willing to step outside the test bubble and let them explore and create. So as you plan your next adventure for your students, think about your content and then let your students make their own connections and share their voice with you.